Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you six Chrome extensions that you can combine with ChatGPT to take and enhance your usage of ChatGPT to the next level. You can use these tools to be more effective, more efficient, and faster, and produce way more uh, value for your work. And if you're not familiar with ChatGPT and you've been living under a rock, ChatGPT is this amazing tool that is powered by AI and can have human-like conversations. It's kind of scary good, uh, but here's the future and we're in the future. So without further ado, let's dive into showing you how this Chrome extensions work and how you can then start using them to do your own work. Let's get started. So the first thing before we start is to show you how you can find these tools. So for you to find them, you need to go to the Chrome extension store. So you just Google Chrome, uh, Google Chrome extension, and then go to the Chrome extension store here. And this is where you can actually find all of these extensions I'm going to be showing you. And to be honest, these extensions are pretty straightforward. Uh, they're very, very easy to use and they're very, very intuitive. So the first one we're going to be talking about is chat GPT for Google search. And basically this extension, what it will do is on your normal regular Google search, so outside of chat GPT, it would actually show you chat GPT responses right along your Google search results so you can improve the quality of your search. So let me show you what that look like. So if I go to my normal Google here and I am just searching for Pac-Man because I'm a fan of Pac-Man, and what this is gonna do, that extension is gonna look like this. So you go, you know, it shows me some brief, concise information about Pac-Man. So if I also look for, for example, if I'm looking for something as I say, maybe Sony games, right? So Sony, um, and I go to Sony, what it will do again is it will show me a quick response, just like I see if I was on chat GPT, it will give me that response alongside with everything else I get on Google. And one of the reasons why this might be uh, you know, useful is because Google gives you so much information, sometimes it's overwhelming, and chat GPT can make that information very uh, succinct and very precise. So I like that about, about this extension. And by the way, if I was to look for this on Google's uh, chat store, uh, uh, on Google store, I just go into the Chrome web store here and I go chat GPT for Google search. So for Google search, right? And once I enter that, here it is. I just click on that and then I will install it. Now for, for me, I've already installed it. So the option here is to remove it from Chrome. But for you, if you've not installed it, you just click on the install button here and it will install it for you. So that's it about you know, ChatGPT for Google search. The next one is uh, voice control for ChatGPT. So again, same thing here. We just type uh, voice control for ChatGPT. So we click, click in here, and this is the, the extension here, and then again, we can install it. So let's see how what that actually looks like in real time. So this is what it looks like. So for example, uh, if I, you know, I'm lazy and I wanna search for things, but I don't wanna actually type it. So for example, I can say, give me some information about the old Roman Empire. And then I click on search. As you can see here, it basically uh, uh, allowed me to search for that using my voice. And I can even like click on this button here and it would actually say this search out loud and it would actually you know, tell me out loud. So again, sometimes when I'm busy in my projects and I wanna search things very, very quickly and I don't wanna search, I don't wanna type them because maybe it's long or for whatever reason, this helps me with that uh, and makes this even more easy for me to use because I can then convert my voice into prompts for ChatGPT. So I find that to be very, very cool and useful. The next one I'm gonna show you is, uh, is web chat GPT. So right now the way chat GPT is set up is that it can't, it's not trained on data uh, after 2021. So sometimes I'm looking for information and I'm looking for sort of some information contextually outside of 2021, this extension can actually help me with that. Now, to be honest, it's not very precise, it's not perfect yet, but again, I see the promise, I like what they're doing here, and I like the idea. So let's see it in action. So for example, if I say, you know, uh, FIFA World, World Cup in court, Qatar uh, 2022, so I go, you know, winner of, of FIFA World Cup in Qatar 2022. So that was an event that happened uh, last year. Now, what it does is it's giving me some web results and it's giving me some URL for more recent information. And what it does is it combines all of that information with normal chat GPT prompt pre-2021. So again, uh, the way it's set up, to be honest, is not 
perfect it's not really clean and, and, and awesome but again this is basically an idea for you and what is done now is he's been able to provide us with some of that information contextually as you can see here it's telling me uh, Argentina won the 2022 FIFA World Cup held in Qatar and it's giving me the links which basically provides that information to ChatGPT. Again, it's not perfect yet, but this is really, really promising if you're looking to use ChatGPT to find information post uh, 2021. So again, I find this to be very, very helpful. Uh, and again, it's not quite perfect yet, but it is getting there and I like it. Uh, so that's the other one. The next one we're gonna talk about is um, ChatGPT for LinkedIn. So ChatGPT is also gonna be perfect for LinkedIn. And if you've learned about my content in the past, or if you've seen anything in my channel, I post a lot about, um, and I'm just gonna stop generating this. I post a lot about chats, uh, about LinkedIn, and how to use LinkedIn to generate leads, clients for your business. And LinkedIn is a massive place, especially if you work with B2B businesses or professionals of some sort, this is a perfect uh, platform for that. And what this platform, what this uh, AI does, and this extension, and let's kind of go back in here. Actually, if you're searching for this extension, you have to search it as Engage AI. So that's what it's actually called. And if you go into here, it goes, uh, it gives you some explanation with, with LinkedIn, but it basically helps you to generate responses to posts on uh, on, uh, on LinkedIn. And one of the things with LinkedIn and many other platforms is for you to really get people's attention. Sometimes you have to like comment and post on whatever it is they're posting to get their, uh, their attention. And this allows you to have to do that quite easily. So let's show, let me show you how it works. So if I go onto LinkedIn here and I go into someone's um, page, so let's find, so for example, there's this Justin Welsh guy here. And then what I do is, I, you know, and I have, he has this like long post, but I don't really have the time or the patience like, like review everything but I still want to engage with the post what I want to do here is I want to go into my extension here which is engage AI and then what I do here is I actually copy the the link to this post on LinkedIn I copy that link here and then I go into the extension again and then I paste that link into here and then I generate some comment and what we do is it will read all of these posts for me and then it will generate some type of comment. So here it says, wow, that's so true. And also an affirmation. If I don't like that, I can ask it to give me a better suggestion and then it can do that. Let's try that again for that post. Uh, we see on that long post here by a gentleman called Alex, a really great guy. And we copy the link to the post here and then we go into this extension again and we paste this here. Let's see what kind of re response it generates for us. So again, all of this is supposed to help you enhance um, uh, your search. Again, not really perfect. Uh, I can ask it to give, generate something else for me and then it can basically give that. So there you go, it gives me that one here. So again, the goal here is that this will help you in the process of beginning to respond to the uh, to people's uh, posts and create engaging comments and this helps you with that process. So I like that uh, about that. The next one we're gonna talk about is Super Reply. And Super Reply, what it does is it helps you respond to your emails very very, very quickly with ChatGPT and it also allows you to pick the prompt, uh, the, the tone of your response. So again, for Super Reply, we go to our Chrome store here again and we go Super Reply um, and here it is the extension. So let me show you what it looks like in action. So I go I go to my email, see in my inbox and I have this, e no, re this email here from Downlock. I'm very, very busy and I'm trying to respond very quickly to him. So what I will do here is I will click on this supply reply response. I go in supply reply response here. And then what this does is it takes this email and then it uses chat chip it in the background to try and understand the context of the email and also to try and uh, understand and give me options for responses. So for example, let's see the responses is giving me here. So there is giving me like three or four responses here. And then what I can do is I can actually choose the tone that I want to use to respond. So for example, if I want to match the tone to, uh, of what the sender sends to me, I can use the matching option or I can choose business, casual, empower. So if I choose empower here, uh, you know, it's going to give me some, uh, it's going to re, re, uh, redo the responses here. There you go. And I can pick one of these responses here. Let's pick this one here. And then I can go in here. And of course, I want to look at it to make sure it actually aligns with what I want to say. But once I like it here, or I can make some modifications, then I can send a response. And there you go. So again, very, very helpful tool to help you respond very quickly to emails uh, in, in, in real time. The last one I'm going to show you here is one called Crooks. And this one here is very helpful 
So to um, to summarize any web page, so when there's an article, so let's kind of do, use, do, an, do an example. So if we go to CNN here, so CNN.com, and um, and I open up the, the extension here, it's called Crux, uh, so C-R-U-X-E. And then what I can do here is I can choose an article. So for example, let's, uh, let's just pick a random article here. So there you go, this one about Ukraine. And, I can, and what I can do when I open up Crux, uh, the, uh, the article here uh, is basically copied all of, it, it's copied all of the article copy here. And then I can then summarize have it summarize the article and i can even clarify how much summary i want uh, in this case here it's default to 75 words and sometimes it takes time to actually like you know do the summary but here it would have all the summary for me which is a pretty nice tool if i'm on the web there's a quick google searches or trying to like you know uh, analyze a huge set of information and i'm on a website but i want to read through everything this is a very very useful tool in summarizing the article uh, of any web page. So again, these are like very, very nice Chrome extensions that I found to be very helpful to me in my work, to be more productive and more efficient. And I'm not quite sure what do you think about them? Let me know in the comments. Do you find this very helpful? Do you does any of these extensions stand out to you that you'll be using in your work? Let me know. By the way, my name is David Owasi. I run a lead generation marketing agency and I help coaches, consultants, agency owners generate more leads online without having to spend money on ads. If you're interested in working with us, uh, there'll be somewhere in the link in the comments where you can actually go uh, to a website to learn more about how we can help you. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe so you can see more of this. And of course, like, share with your people in your network. Without further ado, thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.